is people who think that for reasons of security, we should keep AI systems under lock and key because it's too dangerous to put it in the hands of, of everybody. That would lead to a very bad future. Meta's latest AI move has sent shockwaves across the globe, sparking intense debates on privacy and ethics. Imagine your personal data being used to train AI without you ever knowing. From Brazil to Europe, regulators are slamming the brakes on Meta's ambitious plans. Is this the future of innovation, or has Meta crossed a line that could change the tech landscape forever? In this video, we dive deep into the controversy shaking the world, uncovering the truth behind Meta's AI ambitions and what it means for your privacy. Stick around. This is a story you can't afford to miss. Meta's AI training practices under scrutiny. Brazil's National Data Protection Office recently threw a major curveball at Meta, putting a sudden stop to their AI plans. The reason? Meta was quietly using data from Brazilian users to train their AI models, without getting proper consent. This move didn't just put the brakes on Meta's operations in Brazil. It ignited a global firestorm around privacy, ethics, and how tech giants are handling our personal data. Here's what went down. Meta, the powerhouse behind Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, has been on a mission to make their AI smarter by feeding it with user data from these platforms. The idea? To create AI that's more intuitive and better at interacting with us. Sounds great, right? But there's a catch. Meta wasn't exactly upfront about how they were using this data, and that's where things got messy. In Brazil, the National Data Protection Office, ANPD, stepped in and said, Not so fast, Meta. You can't just use people's data without asking nicely first. The heart of the issue is all about consent, or rather, the lack of it. Meta's privacy policy didn't clearly state that users' data would be used for AI training. This raised huge red flags, especially when it came to data from minors, who are particularly vulnerable online. This isn't just a small hiccup for Meta, it's a serious blow. Brazil is a massive market, with over 100 million Facebook users and more than 113 million Instagram users. By suspending AI-driven tools that were already live in Brazil, the ANPD effectively hit pause on Meta's AI ambitions in the region. And this isn't just a local issue, it's a red alert for the entire tech industry about the need to balance innovation with regulation. But there's more to the story than just legal trouble. This situation brings up bigger, thornier questions about the ethics of using personal data to fuel AI development. Legally, Meta is accused of violating Brazil's data protection laws, which require clear, explicit consent before processing user data. This isn't just about ticking off a legal requirement. It's about respecting people's digital rights and privacy. On the ethical side, things get even murkier. Meta's lack of transparency in its data practices has raised serious concerns about the potential exploitation of user data. Kids and teens in particular might not fully grasp how their data is being used or what risks are involved. By using their data without clear consent, Meta is walking on very thin ice, raising important questions about the company's responsibility to protect its users, especially the most vulnerable. This situation also highlights a critical issue for the tech world. The challenge of balancing the drive for innovation with the need for ethical practices. As companies like Meta push the boundaries of AI, they're also testing the limits of what's acceptable when it comes to data use. Brazil's decision to suspend Meta's policy sends a clear signal that even the biggest tech giants need to play by the rules when it comes to handling personal data. Global repercussions. Data privacy in question. Meta's AI training practices haven't just ruffled feathers in Brazil. They've sparked a worldwide uproar. Europe and the UK are leading the charge, and they're not just raising concerns. They're demanding that Meta pump the brakes on its data-driven AI projects until some serious questions get answered. In Europe, the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, is the heavyweight champion of this battle. GDPR is all about protecting personal data and insists that companies must ask, really ask, before they start digging into your personal info. So, when Meta tried to sneak in a policy update that would let them use public content from Facebook and Instagram for AI training, European regulators weren't having any of it. The Irish Data Protection Commission, DPC, speaking for the entire EU, told Meta to hit pause. And the UK's Information Commissioner's Office, ICO, wasn't far behind, insisting that Meta halt their AI plans until all privacy concerns were addressed. 
But the backlash didn't stop there. Advocacy groups like Noib, led by privacy warrior Max Schrems, took the fight to the next level. They filed complaints all over Europe, arguing that Meta's justification of legitimate interests for processing user data didn't hold water under GDPR. According to these regulations, it's not enough for a company to say, this is in our interest. Users need to have a clear, easy way to opt in, not be forced to hunt down a way to opt out. And here's where Meta really tripped up. Meta sent out over 2 billion notifications about the privacy policy changes, but these were tucked away among your usual flood of alerts. Friend requests, birthday reminders, you name it. So, unless you're someone who combs through every single notification, you probably missed it. And even if you did spot it, opting out was no walk in the park. Users had to dig through privacy settings, find the right section, and then justify why they didn't want their data used. This kind of setup, known as dark patterns, seemed more like a way to discourage opt-outs than to make things user-friendly. What's happening here isn't just a skirmish over one company's data practices, it's a much bigger battle over data sovereignty. Countries are stepping up to assert their right to control how data about their citizens is used, especially when it involves foreign tech giants like Meta. The concept of data sovereignty is gaining serious traction as nations realize they need to protect their citizens' data just as fiercely as they protect their borders. For Meta, this global pushback is more than just a regulatory headache. It's a full-blown crisis. Meta argues that its AI training practices are above board and comply with local laws. They insist that without access to regional data, their AI won't be as sharp or effective, leaving users with a second-rate experience. However, the growing resistance, particularly in Europe, signals that the days of tech giants operating without scrutiny are coming to an end. The global backlash against Meta's AI practices is a wake-up call. Data privacy isn't just a local issue anymore, it's a global movement. Countries like those in Europe and the UK aren't just demanding lip service. They want real transparency and control over how their citizens' data is used. As Meta navigates this increasingly complex and hostile regulatory landscape, one thing is clear. Balancing tech innovation with respect for privacy rights is more critical than ever. Meta's defense and user concerns. Amid the uproar over its AI training practices, Meta has been quick to jump to its own defense. The company argues that everything it's doing is perfectly legal and even beneficial to users. According to Meta, using data to train AI models is crucial for driving innovation, and putting the brakes on this process would stifle technological progress. They claim that without access to user data, their AI tools wouldn't be able to deliver the personalized, effective services that users expect. Meta insists that its data practices are in line with laws like the GDPR in Europe and similar regulations in the UK. They're leaning on the legal concept of legitimate interests to justify using public content from Facebook and Instagram. In Meta's view, improving AI falls under this category, allowing them to use user data without needing explicit consent every time. However, this defense hasn't satisfied everyone, especially when it comes to how Meta informed users about these changes. One of the biggest complaints, the notifications were way too easy to miss, almost as if they were designed to be overlooked. Instead of flashing a big bold alert, Meta's notifications about data usage changes were buried in the usual flood of alerts, friend requests, birthday reminders, and so on. Even for those who did spot the notification, opting out was anything but simple. The process required digging through multiple layers of privacy settings, finding the right section, and then filling out a form explaining why they didn't want their data used. Critics have labeled this approach as a textbook example of dark patterns design strategies that make it difficult for users to exercise their rights. This approach led to significant backlash, with many users feeling that Meta wasn't genuinely interested in getting their consent, but rather in pushing the new policy through with minimal resistance. The lack of transparency in this process further eroded trust, raising concerns about Meta's commitment to user privacy. Ethical Implications and the Future of AI the ethical issues surrounding the use of personal data in AI training are significant, especially when it's done without explicit consent. Companies like Meta argue that leveraging public data is necessary for the advancement of AI technologies. But this approach raises serious concerns about privacy and the potential for AI systems to reinforce biases if not carefully managed. 
Legal actions, such as those in Brazil, where Meta's AI training was halted over privacy concerns, are setting important precedents. These decisions could influence global regulations on how personal data is used in AI development. For example, the European Union's GDPR already enforces strict rules requiring user consent, highlighting the growing emphasis on data protection. The outcomes of these legal challenges are likely to lead to greater scrutiny and potentially new regulations that ensure AI development adheres to privacy and ethical standards. These cases are shaping the global conversation on how AI should be developed and deployed, with a focus on balancing technological innovation with the protection of individual rights. As AI continues to evolve, the ethical implications of how it's trained will remain a central concern. The legal and regulatory responses to cases like Meta's will play a crucial role in defining the future of AI, ensuring that innovation does not come at the expense of privacy and ethical standards.